right at two and five eighths and then we're right at a little bit shy of two and three quarters so or a little more than two and three quarters so we're gonna call that an eighth inch because <laughs> i think it's both just barely past all right so we're getting closer on the car so uh all three things left for a test drive. We've got to align it, bleed the brakes, and put in a windshield. So today, I've got the car up under the carport under there. That's the most level place of concrete I have. So uh, I got it there. We're going to try to knock out this alignment today. I've been watching a bunch of YouTube on how to do it with some strings and a little cheap caster thing off Amazon. So I got the little caster gauge off Amazon. Got some jack stands and some string. We're going to try to get this thing aligned. All right, so if you look right now, I've got about four inches of ground clearance. I'd like to have about five. So uh, a couple of things I got to do before I can get going on the line. I'm going to jack it up, take the wheel off. I got to put a lock nut, a jam nut on this guy because it didn't come with them. So I got to take the wheels off for that. And then I'm going to adjust my cool springs up to try to get another inch or so of ride height out of this thing. So from what I read online, it's about a half inch moving on the front shocks. Give you an inch of ground clearance so uh, we're we'll gonna give that a shot and see if it works all right so we got our jam nut on so we'll be able to lock that down once we get the alignment right and then uh i've never had a bump steer kit but uh from what i understand you want your tie rod and your a-arm to be parallel which if you look it's pretty parallel right there so i think i'll start with that space and i still got to tighten that up right here so uh it might get off a little i think we're gonna go with that spacer first and then uh, we'll see how it does see how much it changes going through the motions and uh i got this on here just to make sure i can turn my rack how i need to because my my cheap rack doesn't have flats so i got the vice grippers on it so anyway i don't know we'll see how this alignment comes out and Hopefully I don't have to turn this too much. Uh, if I, it looks like it's way off, I'll probably take this loose and back it out here. Cause this thing just goes the same way. They're both the same threads. It's not reverse thread, so it doesn't do anything. It's just kind of annoying. Cause I thought you turned this and one was reverse thread and one was regular thread, but that's not the case. So anyway, uh, we're gonna get at this thing. As I don't have these spacers, I'm gonna go look for those quick. Because I really need to get those spacers in there proper before I try to do this right. Because if this thing's moving back and forth, it's just going to be crazy. So uh, let me go get that. And uh, I got my little camber gauge I was telling you about. So it'll go bloop. So I got to look up what my specs are for my camber. And see if I can get it close to what it's supposed to be. All right, so look at... Uh, so I looked everywhere in the garage, couldn't find those spacers, which I don't know if I ever had them because uh, this is, you know, the Rod and Customs cross member and my shocks probably just didn't come with that size spacer, you know, because they're this, because I didn't know what I was ordering. So, you know, but uh, I ran to Ace and go give me a little spacers. So I'm going to get those installed and I'm going to take the shocks off because I have to take them off anyway. And make sure I put some anti-seize on them so I can, when I start adjusting the coil spring height and stuff doesn't jam up on me so uh we'll get that going and get this thing back together all right so i'm getting ready to uh, put the passenger side back together <laughs> but before i do i need to figure out where i want to put my adjuster so i can adjust it when i get to the track i'm almost thinking about turning the shock around so then i could just lay down and click click because right here got a whole bunch of stuff in my way so i think i'm gonna go try that and then hopefully i don't have to take them back apart all right so we got we got the passenger side back together and I'm just in the coil spring with my little spanner wrench here. And uh, if you measure this gap, it's right at a half an inch. So I'm fixing to tighten the lock one down. And uh, then we'll do the other side and get it back on the ground and then see how the ride height looks. We got her back on the ground. And as you can see, I don't know, you should be able to see that. My camber's way off. So uh, from what I've read, most people shoot for around zero. For this, this one's measuring about three degrees and I haven't even measured that one, but it's way out. So I'm probably gonna adjust it before I even mess with anything. So uh, let me take these. So to adjust this camber on the Mustang too, you just loosen these two guys up and then the 
up our arm will move in a little bit and then we'll remeasure all right so we adjusted those back about a quarter of an inch on the top there and it's hard to see because it's way up in there but if you look at my camera gauge now i've got about one one degree positive camber so uh i'm gonna see what the stock specs are because i'm just going off zero off the internet you know how sometimes the internet can lie to you so uh, i'm gonna look up those specs for sure and then decide if i'm gonna tweak this some more and then we'll start working on the alignment so we had adjusted some more so now i've got both of these in about 15 16 of an inch and uh now if you can see in there camera's about a half a degree so we're gonna leave it like that and just see how it drives and probably still gonna take this to a professional uh just want to get this close enough to be able to drive it without having to go to a professional so uh we'll see if it drives like turd we'll definitely go professional route if it drives okay and the tires aren't wearing we'll probably roll with it so we got the camber how we want it so you can see the tires pretty straight up and down over here pretty straight up and down so we're gonna work on the alignment now so here's the string method so i got a jack stand there with a string and two jack stands there with a string and what you want to do is you want to set up based on your rear rim here so i've got all four of these at four inches so both backs are set up at four inches so that means the string is square right which it actually looks pretty square with the car which is good and now you can just get your measurements on your front axle front wheel and i want to i'm shooting for an eighth inch toe in so i just got to get these numbers this number should be an eighth inch bigger than this number so you can see right now i'm about two and a little more than two and a half and then almost two and three quarters so i gotta do quite a bit of tweaking there and i haven't measured the other side yet but this is also let you know if the rear axle square with the car which is kind of cool so you can measure off here and see i'm like four and three eighths and on this side let's hope uh, um like four and eighth so off a little bit but uh you know i don't think that's really gonna matter too much it's close enough right so uh anyway let me get to tweaking this thing and we'll see how she turns out i got through my first round of adjustments and so now i'm at two and five eighths and then we're at two and three eighths so that's still too far out so i'll go tweak it a little more try to get that i just want an eighth inch toe in so uh We'll tweak it one more time and remeasure. All right, so we're gonna double check, make sure we're still set up right. So four inches, four inches. And I think I went a little too far if you look right now. Two and a half and two and three quarters. So right now, got a quarter inch of toe. And I only want an eighth inch toe. So uh, let me go back the other way. It's so much fun. And um, I'm actually having to jack it up in between each time. It's kind of a pain. But I'm jacking it up and then I'm taking it off, adjusting it because these are the same threads. It doesn't adjust like normal. So I don't know. But uh, that's what we're doing. So it's kind of a pain, but we're close now. So hopefully we can just come out two turns is the plan. And I'll let you know how that worked. So more adjustments and now you can see we're just so more adjustments and now you can see we're just right at two and five eighths and then we're right at a little bit shy of two and three quarters so or a little more than two and three quarters so we're gonna call that an eighth inch because <laughs> I think it's both just barely past so that's an eighth inch toe in so now with the bump stop kit it shouldn't change much as you go up through the arc of travel so like there you launch in the drag strip it should stay so two and three quarters and two and three quarters so i don't know i don't know if it's supposed to stay towed in or not but i guess we'll find out how she drives and then do some more reading on bump steers uh, I'm going to get the passenger side now. And I am remembering to make sure my steering wheel stays centered. 
So uh, that'd be annoying if that wasn't centered with the big orange stripe. So let's get this driver's side done and probably call it a day. All right, so we're down here tightening it up our damn nuts. And then uh, we also we ended up with the five inches of ground clearance. It's kind of tape measure's fighting me. Come on now, come on. But uh, anyway, five inches. One other thing I want to do before the test drive is this guy uh, clean up these wires. <laughs> but uh, I want to put a brace. This diagonal right here, right there, is what's holding up the radiator and intercooler stuff. And I just don't think that's going to be strong enough over the long run. So uh, I'm going to put a brace right here. So uh, I've got that set up. So we'll go get it notched. So I got this little. This is my last piece of inch tubing I have too but uh it'll work so I've got it set up in the notcher we'll get it notched and then we'll go test fit it before we cut this other end and notch it so uh yeah we got the little brace notched so uh I got my grinder so we'll grind the paint off right there and right there and I get this thing welded in all right so we've got her brace in and she's much much sturdier so that makes me feel a lot better so uh yeah, we're probably going in this video there. We got our camber set and our toe in, all that stuff happy. So alignment's done. So next video, if there is one about it, will be windshield and uh, bleeding the brakes. It's just kind of boring. So probably won't make a video of that. Uh, hopefully next video will just be a test drive. So uh, thanks to everybody that's watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, especially subscribing. Uh, we're starting to work to like 450 subscribers. It's pretty cool. So uh, if you're watching and you're enjoying, please subscribe and uh, We'll talk at you soon. Later.